yourself very Now, I know you're blind, man, but you gotta see this. Very clever. So what's the prognosis? Is this just gonna be extremely difficult or next to impossible? Hear me out on this, homie. All right, the cash room is on the bottom level. There's a bunch of rooms and a tunnel under the whole building with access to the casino floors at either end of the complex. All right? Now, security consists of CCTV, a key code access, and in places, a swipe card. Hey, are you pointing again? Oh, my bad. Have it. Ah, don't worry. It's good practice for when we finally get a crew in on yeah, this. Yeah, I know. Hey, boss, this arrived for CJ. Hey, 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 hey! Damn, man! Now we've seen the plan. Well, then we've got our first recruit. Come on in and shut the door. All right, cool. This is the security card reader that Zero sent over. Now all we need to do is get one of those cards. Luckily, there's always one guaranteed weak link in any security setup. The human heart. A Venus flytrap reminds me of my mother. She's in prison now. Anyway, it's so fascinating how it catches animals and eats them. I started with flies, and now mine can swallow a whole squirrel. Or a small horse if I chop it in half first. Have you tried any experiments on human beings? Yeah, I've been working on that. Good man! Good man! See, the secret of nature is once something is at the height of beauty and potential, it is time for it to wither and die. A bit like the British Empire. Look at that whole place withering and dying right before our eyes. It's run by a queen, and if she had a pistol, she'd be the king. Luckily in this country, Another shift over. See you tomorrow. Minutes, but hell, I'm all over the place here. It's so easy to get out of control when you're doing something that comes natural. Line two, you're on Gardening with Murray. Yeah, my name is Terrence. Can I call you Telly Welly? Uh, sure, I, I guess. I'm growing flowers, but sometimes I get really angry, fly off the handle, commit herbicide. I don't mean to. I say, I didn't mean it, baby. You'll be all right. Then I cry and wear a diaper for two days. A flower? Nothing more than an educated weed. And like all weeds, all living things need to be extinguished. Like a oh, life support whoa, machine or, or a cigarette, which I won't be able to smoke anymore if the fascists in the state government have anything to say about it with that damn Proposition 421. Tobacco is a plant, people. And, and, and if it comes out of the ground, we should be able to smoke it like coal and opium. Next caller. Yeah, I got a question. Why is everybody on the radio named Maurice? God, I pray to the great gardener in the sky that you've been fixed. I hope they sniffed your nuts off, because spreading your seed could be a disaster. Do you, do you have a question? A question? God, some vegetables on this show. Tards. Yeah, that guy was talking about bugs and plants that eat them. I got a better solution. Put pesticide in the sprinklers. My kids love it. I mean, the ones that live. Oh, lovely. You're a lovely human being. Fucking in the soul. You morons in this town are spreading like weeds. Like little bastard dandelions. I wish I could just pop every one of your goddamn heads off. Hey, Hello, Line way? 8. You're on gardening with Maurice. Yeah, I heard what you said about bonsai trees. And you know what? You can stick that green thumb right up your ass. Hello? Oh, oh yes! Another man who grows no miniature plants Bye, so he can I'm feel sorry, like a giant. A real man loves enormous trees that he can Decoffee have his way with, chopping them down and using the wood to fashion rocking horses and, and suggestive whirly gigs. Okay, we're running out of time. Literally, but again, like a seed sown in a hurricane or a mushroom spore from outer space, the garden goes I blame my father. I Maurice. Until next time, dig a hole and plant yourself. 
That was the show that generates more phone calls than any other on WCTR, Gardening with Maurice. Opinions are free, which is why we're here. It's news and talk that our sponsors agree on. WCTR. San Andreas just can't get enough. Sunshine, don't start. Oh. Come on, look out. Look. This place is shafted. Oh, call slipping bad, huh? Ah. Where's your manners? You great Cleopatra. old. I need a better analyst. Watch out. Wow, it's nice and tight. I'm sure you'll squeeze in just fine. Let's have a look. Perfect. Oh, hi, Benny. Yes, Master. I'm just trying it on. You got yours? Cool. I'll see you at my house in a short while. My boss is a great man. Come on, bitch! Is you clumsy or dumb? Ah! You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Venturas that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture? Do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story, and it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? No one? Come on! Call up! Anyone? It wouldn't be like this in Peru, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery, or the Glory Hole theme park. There, the glory holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. It's violent and bloody and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. You love me. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No, I'm in Verdant Bluff. Loathsome place, I'd jump if I were you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is from my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide in pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him. Avrinda. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights, he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to me. 
Oh, wrong page. Here we are. Avrinda took me deep into jungle. And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to play. No! Wrong page! Avrinda... My ride. bad, homie. Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's hey, the page about watching the elephants mate? And it being really disturbing and making me slightly jealous for both parties. Hey! Has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Just last oh, week I heard him saying hey, government agents Jerry wanted to look at it. Joke. What a load yeah, of trash. Ah, we have a have call, finally. I just oh want to God. tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, it's cheap and it's plentiful. Uh, apart from the rent boys. What about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want foreign. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks rather than motorboats. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam, Paradise Regained, Morocco, Scoogey Smoke. Until next time, travel safe. Ciao, Bella. I'm James Pediston, and this has been a Traveler. This is WCT. Chico lo mato. Doors open, Master. Come on in. I'm ready for you. You've been a naughty girl. Oh, I know. I know. Spit it out, filthy worm. You'll never break me. Hey, if you good, I'll punish you more. Oh, Benny, you minx. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy, but I think you need help. Honey, you are heartless. I love you. You think of my five uncles, the show that replaced yours? What do you think, dumbass? That show sucks my ass. And why do you still look like a kid? I'm 50. WCTR News. I wouldn't sleep if I were you. Hello? Oh, uh, hey, it's me, Jonathan. I, I don't know a Jonathan. Yeah, that's the name they gave me at the orphanage after you put me up for adoption. How could you give me away? Bring the family together again. San Andreas Tom, for those difficult conversations. The tight end zone is next. Brought to you by Lager Beer and Redwood Cigarettes. A game just isn't a game if you're not drunk and coughing. Titans!
Zone. If someone's playing with a ball or two, we're there to talk about it. I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. Today on the big show, clearing out more housing projects. Buy the jersey, eat the junk food, call it athletics! I'm Derek Thackeray. Grab your balls and run, cause... Hello? Hey, Carl, my boy. Mr. Leone. Everybody's talking about the job you did on that St. Mark's Bistro. Thank you, Mr. Leone. And you, uh, you took care of those three loose ends? Yeah, those poor saps ran into a little trouble along the way. You won't be hearing from Mr. Rosenberg again. Good boy, good boy. Now listen, you're gonna have to keep a low profile or people will start to make connections. So let's keep our distance for a while, huh? I'll call you. Thank you, Mr. Leone. Oh, you're mine! Ah! I don't care what the captain says, he's ah! mine! Target locked! Hello? Hey CJ, what's up with you? Are we doing this heist or have you gone soft on me again? Hey, check it. Them fools been shipped out of the Venturas. Salvatore think I'm cool, so it's on. I'll meet you back at the Dragons. Okay, cool. Later. Watch the shoes. Catalina, is that you again? I approve of that shape. Yeah, I've been working out. 